Some of you who follow news would have seen at the World Economic Forum a priestess that is called a shaman. She came before world leaders and was performing incantations. And she blew, blew into the atmosphere. And then she started going from one person to the other. World leaders. She hold, held their head like this and did. <sighs> held their head like this. <sighs> held their head like this. Of all of them. Nobody complained. That I. Let it be a Christian that comes there and says, Shabo Cobra. So say, don't bring religion here. The world has an agenda. <laughs> if you like, don't become bold and fearless. He said, the cowardly. If you like, don't wear your holiness with pride. Still be, still be trying to explain. Uh, uh, it's not that I cannot enter into it. Who, do I owe you an explanation? See, be trying to make excuses. Don't become bold. Witchcraft is becoming bold on world stage. World stage. People were presenting their head. Go and look for the video. You will see it. World Economic Forum presenting her head for a, a priestess to blow like this. You, you are ashamed of your Christianity. In your office, they laugh at you and say, Holy, holy, you start to cry. Say, <laughs> Wear your holy, holy with pride. It's the character and the nature of God. There are things I cannot think about. There are things that are abominations. They cannot be my appetite. If I find it there, when we're praying, you heard my brother say, if you find it there, you conduct an abortion. You put a sword of the word. You dig it out. You say you are a stranger. You don't belong here. How can I have been working with God for five years and I still think like this? There's something wrong. So he says, be not conformed to the world, but be you transformed. There's a renewal that needs to take place. Something transgenerational has to happen within your spirit. When you appear, they will know that this is the one that bears the mark of God. He's separate. He's different. She's distinct. She's not like everybody else.